Hello and welcome to this video that I call Code Exploration. I don't know if it's going to be a new series or anything, but anyway, here I am going to explore different concepts and other stuff. So in this first example we are going to um, look at object orientation in C. Uh, I'm not going to use any malloc or all of that because it's really complicated and I'm just going to do something simple. Just a few objects and nothing more. So uh, let's begin. Here we have a file called code exploration. No, it's called main.c and we're going to um, create our over a main file simple one so let's first include um, stdio I think it is include oops stdio dot h and then we're going to include include uh, oops include um, object.h I have not written object.h yet, that is something we are going to do so um, let's see int main um, and that oops and we are going to do a return zero then we're going to save this and then we're going to and uh, let's see here terminal here we go uh, gcc main dot c dash o main that's going to compile it and let's run that main and nothing happens as expected we have not written any code just wanted to see that uh, that it worked and it did work so let's continue here um, open um, we're going to do a an uh, uh, print f hello exclamation mark and then a new line so write that and compile oops compile again and run hello nothing to serious yet um so let's see here i'm going to make an object that is going to we're going to act upon whoops there my sorry about that sound um it just was was my um ki kitchen fan that turned off uh, let's see here open object dot h uh, we are going to do an uh, oops uh, uh, if uh, if not def um, h underline object dob um, uh, object object uh, define Define H underline object. Oops. Object and then an uh, end if. That is the standard include includation guard for um, header files. So let's have a look at. Um, Let's uh, first create a structure that's going to be the object we're going to work on. Going to, um, yeah, so it's, um, uh, uh, oops, struct, struct, um, object, and it's going to have. Uh, I probably should call it something else an object, but uh, in this case we are only going to do some simple tests. So 
<clears throat> let's have a look here. Uh, it's going to have a few an integer x integer y and an and a string um, oops I string is not a keyword in C so we are going to have to use char um, char pointer I think is going to be a correct way to do this and and that statement. Now we have an object we can work on and um, we are going to have to create a constructor for this so uh, we're going to have a um, yeah a constructor for this object so it's a struct a struct street struct um, object um, object uh, underline new and uh, then we are going to have uh, it's going to take a few parameters so the first parameter is, the, is uh, actually nothing um, a few different ways to do this I'm going to do this this, this way see if this works if this is not going to work this is an explanation I have not done this before so uh, yeah it would be fun I think <clears throat> first I think I'm going to do the classical way actually which is avoid uh, void and we're going to take an object instead um, struct um, let's see here Yes. Struct object uh, O. Struct object O, and then we're going to take an integer uh, X and an integer Y. And a char pointer S. And we are going to uh, re return the object that we're going to work on. Oops, this is just a header file. Of course, I'm not going to do anything here. Sorry about that. Um, and that is the decoration of the constructor. Now we go. Oops, sorry. Now we're going to um, int. Um, object uh, get um, x it's going to take the struct object o and nothing more and we're going to do an o uh, let's see here I think oh yes that is going to be an o dot X and I'm going to return that. Um, yeah, it should work, I think. Um, now we're going to have to create the uh, object.c file. So let's see here what we can do. Um, yeah. We're going to include in oops include include um, object dot h and we're going to make the const uh, find the constructor and it was a uh, struct object um, struct object object new and it took an struct object no it was a void actually um, void struct object int x int y int x int 
y sharp pointer s uh, and we are going to have excuse me structure with o and we're going to have um, let's see let's see um there needs to be pointers mm. let's see here right i don't think it should be pointers so um anyways s dot uh, no o dot um x equals X I should probably call this this uh, the O oh, instead of uh, this so we have a better this dot X equals X and this dot Y equals Y and char uh, oops uh, this dot S equals S think this should work uh, let's see we're going to compile the first object uh, it's going to be the let's see here cc dash um, c uh, object dot c dash o object dot o let's see here we got the object and the object file and I'm going to have to um, use this but I have yet to create the other function but let's keep that for later <coughs> sorry about that and we're going to open the main and we included the object.h file there <coughs> sorry um, so let's create a new object shall we mm, append and uh, um struct i think you should type def i have to I think you should type def that but uh, let's do this uh, Oops, let's do oaked struct uh, structure object O, and then we're going to do a object new, uh, and we're going to pass it the O, and we're going to pass it uh, X. Uh, oh, yes, 10, 10. 11 and hello Let's see here and let's see that should create an object so let's see if that this works so it's um, then we're going to include the object dot file there and Whoops, linking error. Let's see. First, defined here. Uh, uh, multiple defini definitions of get of get x or get x. Hmm. Let's see. Open object dot h. Uh, if not define define object multiple decorations this is strange very strange object that should not happen um Okay. If not define define and if dum 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 
So it's defined here. Multiple definitions of object get x. And function O. Oh. There we go. I am an idiot. Because this is an H file, you shouldn't have anything like that in an H file. Uh, sorry about that. Let's compile the object and compile that. And here we go. Seems to work so far. So let's see if now we're going to write the get x function to see if this works. So open. Um, and uh, object C and append oops and we're going to have an int um, and we're going to have a ob object get x and that's going to take an struct object this and we are going to have return this dot x right and let's see here let's compile that let's compile that and it's no change because I haven't implemented it it's yet um, so open that and we are going to do uh, f print oops not f print f print f print f um, hello colon digit um, object um, get x and o let's see here right and we are going to try this out now compile it again and run it and we got not what we expected why is this well the thing is I have Actually, I've done something wrong here. Um, oops. Uh, why, why, why? There we go. <laughs> because I have not, I did not actually send a pointer to the object to the constructor. So let's see this. Uh, let's do this again. So we're going to in, go into the object here and going to do and and star that can be as it is and then we're going to open a bit c file and insert that should probably change the other thing too and then we're going to insert whoops uh, right uh, whoops that is actually wrong uh, Sorry about that. Let's see here. Gwim. And that is actually wrong. That can. It was the other one. Let's see here. There we go. Right. And let's see here. Um, and we. Oh, yes. This is actually expected. So delete that and do that, do that, do that, right, and there we go. And we're going to recompile that. Hmm. Let's see here. Incap incompatible argument. 
pointer. Okay. So C and we are going to um, uh, reference save. Let's try this again. Here we go. And dot slash main 10. It works. So that is basic object orientation in C. And um, it shouldn't be that hard to understand. Um, what I've not covered here is uh, memory allocation, all of that stuff. So we are going to. I am. Uh, I have not looked into that, so um, I cannot really talk about that. So we can actually have. Um, it's not actually that hard to understand how this works. But I'm going to change the name of uh, this here to this and it's a keyword this oops keyword in um, in C++ so let's see here that didn't fail and that didn't fail and then we can run it yes <clears throat> this is why it's highlighted because it's because it's a keyword in C++ but it's not in C so I should actually not use this but I can use this um, same goes for class class should be spelled with a K if you are using that and um, yeah I think I'm done with this I wanted to show you the basics of object orientation in C so Tura, have a good one.